So impressed with the, the punch in Gabriella's surfing as we see Carissa Moore absolutely tee off on the first section here of what is wave number four for the five-time world champion. Number of big hits on this one. And she needs, you know, next to nothing to improve her lead here. Just looking to better a 3.23, and she's certainly going to do that. Oh, that's the number of the heat so far, without a doubt, by a long shot. May even see this go into the excellent range. That was just a very, very stylish, committed surfing. Well, for a start, she got one of these waves that has just had a beautiful pace to it. Fully committed, sort of a, a re-entry carve off the top for the first one. A more critical snap on the second and third. And then she just does some great work down the line here. Timing was absolutely perfect as it tapered off. Down the line, gets a little fin release. Bit of tail drift. Needs a 9.33 and time's really winding down here under a minute to go. Carissa Moore's moved to the inside. She's really wanting to get rid of this 6.33 and really put it out of reach for Gabriella Bryant. Nice ride here that she's connected with. Grabs the rail, tucks into the tube, finding her way through this one. And oh. she gets the exit, Woo. the low road exit for Carissa Moore. Checks the watch and says, thank you very much. 30 seconds to go. And this number could be huge. What a barrel ride and what a read on a tricky exit. Oh, that was incredible. And uh, that was an incre that was just a great setup. Really paced herself through the start of this ride, Rich. She saw something special down the line. Yeah, look, she could see it walling up. And it, it's, a, it's a hard thing to do is get your pace right at this way. But you can see there she backdoors this section. Perfect pick dog stance. And then she sees that little window. And uh, if she had left that any longer, she would not have got out of this barrel. Got the uh, hand on the rail to steady herself. She saw her little opportunity, which was, uh, well, it was a very small opportunity. Great vision here from up above. And then just gets that window, the doggy door, as we like to call it. Well, Uluwatu is a more like a perfect, you know, like, you know, like when it's probably when three, four foot is racetracks or the peak, but when high tide, Oh, here we go. Oh. Tatiana tucking oh. in. Wow, find some cover. Nice big open barrel. Now to turns. Whips one off the top. And she just picked this ride beautifully out there with priority. And uh, we got to see her really lock in there. That was an, a, a shallow tube. She was well and truly behind the curtain and should score really well. Rick. And this wave just starting to get that classic G-Land look to it. She can see this section looming up. She puts on the brakes, gets the arm in the wall to slow her down a little bit. Uh, gets some great travel time and vision. And I love that she backed it up with a nice clean snap. And uh, as that wave closed out, she just pulled through. But uh, really clean, nice line. Such a, a smart read here, Rizal. Great technique, double really, hand drag. Really good technique. I think she's going to do well in this comp. Um, based on the free surfing. Ethan Ewing wearing the red jersey, the top seed on a wall at Grodjagen. And look at that big back backside hack to start. Throws down the carve, slamming on the brakes, pulling into the cylinder. Ethan Ewing gets the exit. Driving back into the power source, belting it off the lip line. Ewing sneaks out of the end section. Uh, now number four in the world. Got everybody screaming on this ride. Look at this, out of the lip, tail coming loose. Gets held up a little bit, but it was perfect to come round for a nice swooping carve. One of the smoothest surfers the world's ever seen. Just dragging and getting a long tube ride. Coming out, another nice little carve. Up for another hit and flicking out. Another great angle from the sky. And look how incredible this view looks. Total paradise for you. And he has the same comfortable pace that we've been enjoying on his forehand all year. His back end just as smooth, Luke. Just foot planted so back, so far back on the tail. He's got such good control. Look at that barrel just, just at the right speed. Another nice slash to set up this huge hit off the top and flicking out. Yeah, he kicks out of that one on the inside. And chasing him down the line is going to be Florence. Oh, love the setup for this section. Beautiful barrel ride. Here he comes. What a read. Sensational start from Florence. Well, uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried anymore. No, no, he's looking good. <laughs> he's looking good. Um, not worried about John. Yeah, on the back end, it's 
great to watch just the, the read here, Rich, the control of speed. Oh, that was a great turn off the top and a second one. And then he comes into this section here, almost does like a, an inside outside arm sort of slow down. So he put himself in back of the order for priority. So he's just fishing underneath the rest of the pack. Here comes a world champ, Italo. Beautiful grab rail down carve, setting up the lip. He crushes it in the pocket. Out in front, nice fade and cut back, and he will pull in nicely to the pit. Completes it there. Almost thought he's going to slide out on the raft. Total control through this inside section. It's getting incredibly shallow. There's the fin throw without much water left. Their fearless approach when it comes to shallow sections. We'll go back to the start of that grab rail down carve. Yeah, not only in innovative aerials, but there's some real grassroots uh, rail turns going on in the beginning of this wave and then sets himself up for a nice tube. I like this one, pushes through really hard and then comes to the inside. Anyone would have just flicked out about now, but it's a low, no, onto dry reef and uh, goes for the air. This angle is so incredible. Here's that carve, Luke. Love it, straight up into the steep part of the wave. Brings himself around perfectly for another one and gets a variety with a full chop on onto the deep part of this wave and then sets himself up beautifully for a tube. What more could you have done with this wave? And another guy that's going to get a very, very good score, probably into the excellent range on his first ever attempt at a... Bunch of uh, server factory manufacturing, a lot of pros and different bridge surfboards like Kelly would have like 12 board made in Bali for him to come to Indonesia. That's amazing to have those types of resources here in 2022. Big wind up and a beautiful start for Cola Pinto. Big snap again. Nice, smooth, rhythmic approach. Drifting it off the top. Patience paying off for the Californian. Driving into the lip line again. Cola Pinto's got more room to move. What an enjoyable pace. Big fans off the lip. Perfect surfing from Griffin. Still more left on the inside shelf. He'll slap it shut. And what a clean read. A series of epic backside turns right on the money. Another guy, first wave. First wave at G-Land in a jersey and just going to town. Linking some beautiful backhand turns there. I think this board, this board looks really good and sharp and spicy. I like it a lot. And this is one of the best waves coming all day, I think. It's such a beautiful read in between sections. Felt like he had all the time in the world, Luke. It did, and you know what? Waiting with priority paid off. Everyone was dancing around on the inside trying to get small scores, and Griffin sat there. This is his first wave at about, about the 19-minute mark, so the strategy of being patient and making sure on the best waves. Medina scrambling to get into position here, and it looks like he's going to make a move for this one. So this is wave number five, and he hasn't got a score over three, but I think that's about to change as he finds a long barrel sets up this inside now for some big turns. Big wrap rail carve, draws it right down into the bowl, and now starts to look for opportunities to hammer the lip, gets that board up for the finishing float. Streaks down the line, straight into the barrel, a great line, then he got a little greedy, wants some more and uh, almost a, a double barrel right there. But this turn here holds that rail. I love that turn there. Just extended, had to kind of double, triple pump off the bottom uh, to get to the final two turns, but geez, he put it together well. He almost could have locked into that next section too, Dimity. How hard was it as a surfer just to, you know, hold back and think, oh, I just want to get barreled the whole way. And you can see it here, he's thinking, oh no, I got to rip into a few big turns here. And he did that. That grab rail was something else, Rich, but he, he was kind of making up for dr driving around that barreling section. Oh, up and riding on the backhand. Big snap right there. Beautiful turn off the bottom. Another one through the roof. Just great surfing right there. Is he going to ride out of that? What? Come on. What no. a flow and rhythm for Matty McGillivray. And he caught that smaller inside one just to get things going. And then this was the next wave, the next opportunity and he's given it to his opponent, and this is going to be a massive score with that completion. The judges will show a little bit of restraint, and here goes Gabs. Medina looking for an answer now. Big wall stands up, goes oh. to that grab rail car. Beautiful stuff to get things going. 
and then kicks on the tail. Plenty of power in that second move as he now grinds through a snap. Lots of variation on show here already as he goes hammering down the line. Just finds a bit of release there. Probably didn't tee off the way he would have liked, but he's still going and has more opportunities here to lay that board over. The three-time world champ finishes that one off with a click of the fingers. And we're just a, a few minutes into this one, a couple of minutes in, and we've already seen a couple of big numbers drop for these competitors. Keeping the board a little bit more flat and horizontal. And in contrast, watch this. Gabs just gets the rail work happening, driving off the bottom. Very powerful off the lip here. Just throwing chunks of spray skyward and uh, just hammer time down the line. So with each turn, just uh, getting really, really critical. Maybe a little bit mistimed off that little hit on the inside. But uh, I think most of the work was done outside. You just can't deny just how much power in the approach, Ron. Oh, he's bullish off the top. He just has that, that rail set so deep in the face. There's a real thud to each of these turns. I mean, in contrast, Jadson surfing with amazing speed, but sort of slicing through the wave. This guy, he just gouges into the face. Oh, look at that grab rail just holding it for so long and uh, just releasing right at the, mo mo at the right moment, excuse me. But just see how seamless the transition is and just gets the tail free on that one, gets the release. Watch how quickly and smoothly he gets onto the toe side rail, gets it right back up into the hook there, gets on the heel side rail. It's just all effortless and just so powerful with each and every strike that he makes. And here, just so confident, mate, on every turn. It's, uh, it really is just a dominant performance and, he, and he's just having his way with the wave here. Great exchange to kick things off, Strike. Had the speed, he had the line. Looked like there was a few bumps there and Medina's gonna swoop on this wave down the line. A couple of sections, already bit of foam on the face, lining up something big to finish. And he's gonna stick that end section hit and uh, not sure it'll better the 5.93. It'll probably uh, be pretty close, but Jadson Andre lost an opportunity there to, to bank a big number and create a point of difference with a tube rock. Up cupping out beneath him, and, uh, well, this was uh, Gabby out the back. Just again digging into that power, that layback hack that he's got. And another one gets a bit more tail release on here, just pushing it out. Gets control. A really difficult wave to ride with all that foam on the face, but uh, Gabriel just uh, appears that it's not even there. He's riding it like it is a smooth, beautiful green wall and uh, a very strong finish. The, the opening combination of that, that wave was unbelievable. And here comes Robinson, the champ in Margaret River, with a ton of speed pulling in to a hollow cave, gets the exit. Off the bottom, and there's a beautiful down carve. The Australian throws down a backhand carve. Clean fade once again. Big rip right off the top of that wave. And just enjoying the last part of this end section. Jack Robinson throws down the hammer, unfortunately slips off. But he'll still ride away in the prone position. Always gets exciting, no matter where you are when someone gets really barreled, but especially here at Money Trees. We haven't seen a lot of that today. It's been really focused on maneuvers. Leave it to a guy like Jack to get a drainer like that. It can almost seem like they can find it on demand. Rizal, what did you see here? Well, it, this is a, such a good Gillette wave. You can see it from down the line how the wave will get barrels, you know, and then come out with such an open face. And after this turn, he just kind of slowed down himself. You can see that, like to read the waves more better and then do a couple more turns for the scores yeah i love this i love this uh, this wave for him such a cool style a real yeah. effortless super smooth definitely let the wave be the hero and had so much speed before this pit louis yeah he just timed it perfectly don't think you could have get could have got too much deeper look he's just looking at the high line high line what am i going to do here and just perfectly timed into the barrel comes out clean with so much speed off the bottom, beautiful carve, wrapping it all the way around that gets him back in the pocket, gets it up there one more time. One of the best ways we've seen this morning and Jack Robinson taking full advantage of it. That was Leo Firavanti's prediction. If Jack could get barreled in the seat, he's gonna be incredibly dangerous. In the face of the wave, it kind of threw her off. Meanwhile, on the outside, Carissa gets her opportunity to drop a big number. Wall stands up and she's gonna hit the pocket, drops out of the lip. And again, he's going to hammer 
the pocket of this wall. Critical surfing on edge right when she needed it and she get, goes all out on the end section. Didn't complete, but it felt like that was the way she needed it, expecting a good score there. She may have had a really long tube right then and uh, Carissa, wise choice not to pull in on that one because there was all this work down the line. I love these two turns right in the pocket. This one here, again, jams it nice and tight. And, uh, well, she, this is exactly what she needed to come back in this heat. And uh, I don't, I mean, it did matter in the scheme of things, but all the points are on these outside sections. Yeah, amazing. And really, that was a huge turn on a section that, you know, potentially she could have pulled into, but I think she'll get more credit for the big hits. Oh, 100%. And I love the way she just delayed that bottom turn so she could get as tight as she could. I think it's this, this second turn here where she just waits half a second and then oh, right on the money. Perfect timing. Yeah, just drops out of the sky there. The five-time world champion showing us why she's got so many event wins. And this is super impressive stuff. She's going to get herself right back in this heat. 9.17 was the requirement. And we're waiting to see just how high this number is going to go. But it feels like it's going to be the best score of the final so far.